please have a read of the disclaimer, pause the video and when you're ready continue onwards. Today we're going to be testing heater blower motors, in particular motors that have two pins only and you will see why. If you find this video helpful please don't forget to like, comment and most importantly subscribe to support the channel. Our first method, you can see these blow motors have two pins, we'll be running a continuity test and what this does is sends a current through the unit to see if there's any obstruction or breakage in the circuit. Once you do this method, if it makes noise that means that there, it does go through. So on your multimeter, set it to continuity, it'll look like this volume icon and then touch the connectors to the heater blow motor pins and then you should hear the following noise. You can also do resistance. So if it makes noise like that, it's the current is going through. The second method, uh, actually bench testing, which I don't recommend doing at home, is giving uh, electricity to the unit. Please be careful. Um, don't let the positive and negative cable touch each other under any circumstance. So as you can see, it's spinning. That means it works given electricity. And then finally, you'd want the wheel especially to not be um, wobbly. Um, so over here, it should be very sturdy and not wobble at all, or otherwise it would make noise hitting around on the inside of the cabin. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to support the channel. And we will see you in our upcoming videos.